heard the conviction of 12 persons in the Bilkis Bano gang rape case. The court also set aside acquittal of six persons, including doctors and a policeman, and convicted them of tampering with evidence in the case. The court turned down the CBI's request for the death penalty to three men accused of gang raping Bilkis Bano, a 19 year old pregnant woman, and brutally murdering the 14 members of her family, including her three year old daughter, and Randikpur, in Randikpur near Ahmedabad during the Gujarat riots in 2002. Bilkis's mother and sister were among the 14 of her family and 17 people from the village killed by the rioters on the 3rd of March 2002. Bilkis Banu, who lives in central Gujarat with her husband, had identified her rapists. The quantum of punishment is likely to be announced today. Let's go across uh, to Yogesh Sheetal, who's joining us from uh, Mumbai. Yogesh, just uh, tell us uh, as to how did the court arrive at the decision that it did. Uh, Bombay High Court was hearing the case and uh, uh, the High Court has turned down the CBI request to uh, award death penalty to all uh, these three accused, Jaswant Nai, Govind Nai and Seles, but who were earlier uh, convicted by the lower court uh, in uh, January 2008 uh, and was awarded uh, life imprisonment uh, out of uh, all uh, 12 accused, but later one accused, uh, uh, since one accused died, so total 11 accused at this point in time. Also, let me tell you that uh, SC Harbour accepted the CBI's other plea to reverse the acquittal of uh, five persons, including four policemen, as you have rightly mentioned, and one doctor for tempering the evidence and, and also compromising, compromising the uh, mm -hmm. post-mortem report. So these right. are the basic developments, and now what remains to be, uh, to be seen is uh, after one or ha one or uh, two hours, Bombay High Court will pronounce quantum of punishment for all these uh, five accused. And also one thing very important, they, since, since three years imprisonment, they have already spent so uh, if Bombay High Court uh, uh, awards uh, uh, three years imprisonment, that means they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they won't be needing to uh, go behind the bar uh, anymore. So this is basically the development. Uh, Yogesh, uh, since the CBI was seeking harsher punish punishment, uh, 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 has the council indicated uh, what he intends to do from here on? Uh, see, actually, CBI wants the case to be uh, under the ambit of rarest of rare, but the High Court, the decision mm. uh, seems not to be influenced by the argument by the CBI's counsel. So, uh, rarest of rare category, basically, the main thing that needs to be proved in the court if you if you want any uh, convicts to be awarded by the capital punishment. So, that was the main reason, the rarest of rare basic term, that was uh, basically a legal term when, uh, uh, when a case of... Uh, uh, capital punishment is concerned. So definitely this case was not proven uh, to be uh, the rarest or to be in the, the rarest of their category. So they were not granted uh, capital punishment. Yeah, All right, Yogesh. Uh, clearly, uh, uh, since uh, this case dates back to 2003, uh, we're not sure if the current uh, rape laws apply or not because if uh, a woman is, mur is uh, gang raped, uh, then uh, uh, a punishment uh, can be sought in terms of harsh, uh, you know, the harshest punishment uh, that uh, can be given. Thanks a lot for joining us for the time being. Now, the Supreme Court has issued